Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I have three champagnes in front of me, uh, all non-vintage. Um, reasonably famous houses, not the most famous ones, but uh, neither the least well-known ones. Let's just dig in. Jacquard is the first one. Uh, Jacquard Brut Mosaic, non-vintage, and uh, let's just dig in. It smells like it's going to be quite rich. There's a toasty character there. I get this uh, slightly bruised apple, um, uh, apple spume, apple softness about it. Uh, there's a, so it's like cooked tart apples. Clean, crisp, fresh. Um, it's the cheapest of these three, um, and it's pretty tasty. Um, there's a the, yeah, there's this juiciness about it. Bit of maturity. I'll have a look at the cork. It's not splayed out all that much. Um, so sign that it's been in there. It's not been in there just a short time. Um, but um, I like its mixture of richness and tartness. It's a, a nice tension between the two uh, and um, really nice start. Let's try Canard du Chêne. That's uh, wine number two. Um, so first one says I've got on the back the back label here 18 pounds at Majestic. This one says 30 to 35 pounds. So uh, nearly twice as much. Is it twice as much wine? Let's have a see. Well, it's not um, quite as uh, exuberantly fruity as the first one. Uh, it feels like there's a quite a, a heavy character about it. Uh, don't get too much of the toastiness. Um, it smells okay rather than great. And I find there's a general torpor about it. There's a flatness. Um, I don't find there's a perkiness in the fruit. It feels a bit sulfury. Um, it's uh, certainly not the, the spark and liveliness that the Jacquard has got. It's, it's okay, but um, moving rapidly on to uh, uh, Piper Heidsick or Piper Heidsick as uh, some people insist on pronouncing it. Uh, yes, uh, anyway, I, I will shut up about pronunciation and I'll stick me conk into the glass. And we're back to the lighter, lively style here. Um, maybe not quite as out and out appley as the first one, uh, but certainly there's some freshness there, there's some biscuity character. And um, uh, it feels, uh, if maybe a little bit, bit more refined than the Jacquard, it it smells, it smells a, a little bit, just a little bit more grown up. Um, but uh, I think some people will prefer the Jacquard for exactly that reason. It's got a little bit more uh, juiciness and perkiness of fruit. Anyway, I better taste it. Yeah, it's classy wine, rich, classy. A, there's this toastiness, uh, but then there's this. Uh, uh, it's got some of the the green apple that was there, but there's. A crystallized pineapple here um, and uh, yeah just a few more layers I'm not sure about uh, I, I think it probably sits uh, about more towards the price of the Canard du Chien uh, favorite wine of the three um, but the Jacquard at uh, 18 pounds I think that's a terrific buy um, uh, I might go and uh, have to have a glass of each of these first and the last one just to go and compare them but uh, I'll uh, someone's got to do it hey see you soon